episode 76 of the Marketing Life Podcast. This is Taylor Timothy, your host. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the video marketing script checklist thing that I have. Basically, it's going to help you guys plan out your videos and keep them organized so that you can generate more leads and sales for your business. I'm all about them leads, guys. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. So like with all these other episodes, guys, if you want to download this checklist and follow along, feel free. The link is inside the description and it will, you can just follow along if you want. If not, you can just keep listening. So the first script that we're going to talk about is for branding slash, you know, education. You know, you're going out there and you're just trying to educate people why you are the best. So there's a couple things that you need to do when creating these videos. The first thing I always recommend is just introduce yourself. What's your name? What do you do? The second thing is you're just going to say, hey, today I'm going to talk about, and you're going to tell them what you're going to talk about. After you say what you're going to talk about, what you do is you just do a small call to action. So, hey guys, if this video resonates with you or whatever, then just go over and schedule a call with me or post in the comments below. Some sort of call to action just to get them to engage with your content. The next thing you're gonna do is just continue to educate. You're gonna continue to educate about your topic and what you're talking about. You know, maybe that's two minutes long, maybe that's an hour long. I don't know how long, but just educate about what you're doing. And then at the end of the video, do a strong call to action, schedule a call, book an appointment, or buy my product. Have a very strong call to action at the very end. And last but not least, when doing branding slash education content, just you know, finish with thanks for watching, subscribe, follow, whatever it, it might be, but just finish off giving them a reason to continue to follow you. So one thing you guys need to realize when creating branding education videos, in my opinion, is like, you have to remember these people are meeting you for the very first time. You know, these people, they're just getting to know you. So don't ask them to buy your $100,000 product right out the gate, in my opinion, right? Some, it might work for some people, but for me personally, I don't like to do this, do that, right? I just like to, to keep it casual at the beginning, and then continue building that relationship. So a lot of common questions that I get about branding and education videos is like, well, how long should my video be? A lot of people ask that. And my answer to that is as long as it takes, guys, it could be 15 seconds, five hours. Just make sure you're bringing value to people because if you're not bringing value, then you're wasting their time and they're not going to continue to watch your videos. Another common question is, what if I don't have a lead magnet? A lot of people say, well, I don't have a lead magnet. And my response to that is, guys, go create one. Don't make excuses. Like, just go out there and create it and start trying to see if it works. So go out there, create them, and don't make excuses to that. If if you ask me that question, I will tell you that. Just go create one. And the next one is, what if I don't have a camera? Use your phone, guys. I've seen some of the best and highest converting videos shot on iPhones and just a cell phone in general. Sometimes those work the best. Next question is, what if I'm just starting out? I say, fake it till you make it. Don't underestimate yourself. You know, a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit. You probably don't give yourself enough credit. I don't give myself enough credit for what I know and what I do. We all are all just kind of in the same boat. So just go out there and fake it till you make it. The next thing I want to talk about is like lead based ads. Like a lot of times this is like a conversion objective in Facebook. And this is kind of the script that I have found works. So you introduce yourself and you basically just say, here's the free offer and you call them to action and you finish and that's it. So real quick example. What's up, guys? My name's Taylor Timothy. Today, I'm giving you guys my video marketing script. Go over and download that. Guys, it's absolutely free. It's going to help you generate more leads and sales. And thanks, guys, for listening. 
that's literally the script. It's super fast. It's super short and it's super simple, but that is the lead based ad. And a lot of times your objective is, um, on Facebook is conversions. So common questions, you know, I get about lead based ads. Why don't I just run these types of ads? So a lot of times I've found that like, it depends on the business, obviously, because every business is different, but a lot of times it's just because you have to warm them up a little bit. So sometimes you just need to show them like some videos that, you know, you know what you're doing. And then after that, you remarket to them with these types of ads. So I found it to work both ways. But like I said, sometimes you just have to warm up the audience. Next question is, who should I target with these types of ads? Like I said, warm traffic, people that have already watched videos and things like that. So another common question, can I make these ads work for cold audiences? The answer is, like I said in the beginning, yes, but here's the catch 22. You have to have a really, really good offer. If you do have a really good offer, this this formula can actually work. How long should these videos be? So anywhere from 60 seconds or shorter, in my opinion, because these ads just need to be really short and to the point with these people. So next thing we're going to talk about is I'm just going to give you guys some tips and tricks to making these ads convert. Um, So the first one we're going to talk about is just make sure you're targeting the correct audience. So, you know, if you are selling baby clothes, you're probably going to want to target like mothers, correct? So make sure you're not like targeting grandma that doesn't have any grandchildren, (laughs) you know, whatever it might be. Like I said, just make sure you're targeting the correct audience. The next thing is just make sure you have good lighting. Don't shoot this in your closet. You know, a lot of times people don't realize, but you can just stand right next to your window and you're going to get really good lighting. So just make sure you have good lighting. Obviously, like I say on this podcast as well, just make sure you're catching their attention in the first five seconds. Honestly, guys, you can be clean and simple. That's all you have to do with your landing pages. So obviously, if your landing page isn't clean and simple, then you're going to run into problems here. Make sure your tracking set up. The other thing you need to do to make sure your ads are actually working and converting is you're going to have to test the copy. So you might want to test long copy versus short copy and then use emojis in your copy. And last but not least, make sure guys you put links in your copy. And those are some of the tips and tricks that I've found to help convert um, video and make your ads convert that much better. Thanks, guys, for listening to episode 76 of the Marketing Live podcast. If you guys have any questions about this checklist, you guys can download it or you can email me and ask me about it. I'm here to help. Last but not least, guys, go over and check out my online marketing master course that will teach you guys all of this from start to finish and help you generate more leads and sales for your business. Thanks, guys, for listening and peace.